Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are back in SnowRunner 4, yet another speedrun. Today we're going to be doing the Alaska speedrun again. Um, we did one Alaska speedrun so far a couple of weeks ago in the Tuz 166. Um, that was a lot of fun. I do like the new Alaska speedrun. I am planning to do one in the Tamar region as well. Uh, so, so far we've made uh, two speedruns in Michigan. Uh, this will be the second speedrun we've done in Alaska. So, I think next time we'll try and do one in the Tamar region. Uh, but we have a, well, not another truck, um, or not another vehicle. We've seen the Hummer before here on the channel in some of my very early SnowRunner videos. Um, but it is a very quick vehicle, it's very capable. And we saw in, I think it was episode four when we were exploring how good this thing is in the snow and how good it copes in Alaska. So today we're gonna to be uh, speed running in the Hummer H2. We need to just go ahead and modify it slightly. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, in a minute, once we've customized it, I'll show you all the route and explain the rules of this. But getting into it, we've got a few uh, engine options. I think we have the best one installed. Yes, we do. We already have the SnowRunner gearbox. The suspension, um, I've not bothered getting the raised suspension. Um, I haven't had any problems with the Hummer bottoming out. So we'll leave that on there. We do need to fit some chain tires today. Um, I am aware that the mud tires are actually slightly better in the snow than the chain tires, but most of today's route is on the tarmac, which is covered in ice, which is very slippery. So chain tires gives us the most grip on the road. So that is why we're going for those. We already have the autonomous scout installed. Um, we have, uh, oh, okay. So we don't have uh, diff lock capability. I haven't actually gone ahead and unlocked that. I didn't actually know about that. Um, but I don't think it will be very necessary today. I don't think we will need that. Um, we might as well go ahead and fit a spare wheel. It's just there in the trunk. We already have a snorkel installed. The frame add-ons, um, we can get a small uh, roof rack or the trunk repair supplies. We'll just go for the trunk repair supplies. Uh, we are obviously trying to keep our weight down as much as possible. Um, so yeah, we don't want to we don't want to fit too much weight on this thing. The Hummer is pretty good with fuel consumption. It doesn't drink too much, um, despite what you might think. Yes, it is a Hummer, but it is actually one of the best vehicles for fuel consumption. Uh, so yeah, um, then we have some um, uh, visual stuff. Uh, we've got the bumpers and stuff but i'm happy with everything we have on this we could go ahead and change the rims to these uh i don't know i i don't like either of these but i think they're slightly better and yeah i'm happy with the color we have some interior options but i'm not going to bother with those because they're not very exciting so uh, yeah, that is the Hummer modified. It's all ready to go now for the speed run. But before we get into it, let me just show you all the route we're going to be taking and then I'll explain the rules sort of as we go along. Okay, so we're starting in White Valley. We're at the very most southern point of the map on the left there. We're gonna be traveling along the main route past the fuel station, past the trailer store and the factory to the Northport map. And then when we get into Northport, it is a very, very quick dash through the Northport map. I'm sure you can appreciate this was the only way I could link up all of the maps. So we pop out of White Valley and then we head to Mountain River. And then in Mountain River, we pop out of the Northport Gateway. We're gonna travel along the main ridge road along the top of the map towards Pedro Bay, which is gonna be our final map. And then in Pedro Bay, we pop out there on the right. We're gonna head 
um, from right to left following the main path so not snakes through the middle of the path and the service hub in the bottom left corner is going to be our destination okay so that is the route we're going to be taking um, in a minute underneath the face cam right here there will be a little green box it's probably appeared now um, that is where the timer is going to be and if you haven't seen one of these speed runs before basically the main goal is to travel through all of the maps in a region in a specific time limit now for the michigan speed run the time limit or the par time is 30 minutes for the alaska speed run it's slightly less um, it is 10 minutes and basically i set these times by taking a truck out trying to drive it as fast as i could to set a benchmark the benchmark was set in the uh, international load start for the Alaska speed run I did it in just over 10 minutes so the par time is 10 minutes so that's what we're going to try and to beat today uh, in the TUS 166 in the last episode we didn't unfortunately uh, manage to beat that so I hope the Hummer can it is a slightly faster vehicle um, but yeah let's just get this thing started i've got my stopwatch down here to my uh, left um, so i can commentate uh, you will all have the accurate time underneath the face cam that will be the accurate time but obviously i don't know what that is until i edit this video so the stopwatch i have just to my left is purely for me to commentate on the time and see the progress that we're making um, now the the engine here on the Hummer is stopped at the moment. As soon as I start the engine, I will start the timer. So, in three, two, one. There we go. The timer should have started. It would help if I release the handbrake. And we are off. Now, if you've not seen one of these speedruns before, um, as I said, basically we're going to be traveling through all of the maps in the Alaska region. I know we're not visiting much of the Northport map, um, but I want to try and link all the maps together and that was the only way I could do it. We could have done a little loop around the Northport map, but at the end of the day, that is what it is. So yeah, as I said, we've got a 10 minute time to beat. Um, I feel like the Hummer is capable of doing that. We've seen how fast the Hummer is. We've seen how capable this thing is and um yeah we'll, we'll just have to see how we go along um if we don't beat it then the load star will still be the fastest vehicle to complete the alaska speed run um now just something to mention um so you don't all get freaked out about the timer when we go through the um when we go through the tunnels the timer will pause and the reason we don't count that time is basically because it's not actually part of the speed run it's just traveling between the different maps you know um, different consoles and different uh, games will take different amounts of time to load in so to keep it as fair as possible we just eliminate the loading into the map so it is purely just the driving through the map part that is counting towards the speed run um, time wise we've just gone over two minutes um, so I think we're doing pretty well um, I haven't crashed yet so that is a good thing now if we crash the timer won't pause it will just continue to run because that is purely just driver error and it can be also down to how the vehicle handles if it's not a very good handling vehicle it's harder to control so I'm more likely to crash so that is the punishment for the vehicle having poor handling. Um, another thing, if we run out of fuel, we are allowed to go and get another truck to refuel us, but the timer continues to tick. So basically, if we run out of fuel, then that is going to be the end game. Um, there, there is no, um, there's no way we're going to beat the time if we have to go and get another truck. Um, so yeah that's just unfortunate if the truck runs out if the truck falls over we are allowed to uh, correct ourselves with the winch 
So I've got the autonomous scout on this, so if we roll, we can pull ourselves back over, providing there is a winch point, which sometimes there isn't. Um, if we do get in a position where we can't roll ourselves over, then we are allowed to get another truck, as I mentioned, but by the time you've done that, that's game over. So um, there are a couple more rules that I will explain in a minute, but we have made it to our first gateway, which is the north port map. Hopefully the timer should have paused. Um, it will have just disappeared on your screen. On my timer, we're nearly at four minutes. We're at three minutes, 45 seconds. Um, so I feel like we're making good progress. We're already onto our second map and it is a very quick dash through the north port map um, now once we load in right now the engine is stopped so as soon as i start the engine again the timer will begin and there we go the timer should have started again we're going to stick it back in all wheel drive just so we have a little bit more control um, we're going to go to the right just down here now um, another rule if we run out of fuel uh, we are allowed to use the trunk repairs to repair ourselves and refuel ourselves so that isn't out of the question we are obviously allowed to use the winch as I mentioned earlier um, so this speed run is not excluding the winch we are allowed to use it we are allowed to stop at petrol stations like the one to my right there um, so that isn't out of the question if there is a um, petrol station along the route then we are allowed to do that. Uh, that has just eaten a bit of our time going into that little snow drift. That was some poor driving by me. Um, I do try and make the, the routes pass at least one filling station. Um, so there is always an opportunity to fill up uh, at a fuel station. It is slightly faster filling up at a filling station than sort of going into the uh, repair and trunk supplies uh, because you have to go through more menus whereas in a petrol station you can just pull up and spam the X button to fill yourself up so it is a little bit faster um, so you might see me you might see me filling up um, more at a filling station than using the trunk supplies uh, purely just because it's faster the trunk the sorry the trunk supplies are purely there for um, you know emergency scenarios so if we run out of fuel and we're not near a filling station I can still fill up so yeah but we're on to our third map already we're at the five minute mark uh, we're loading into mountain river it's quite a nice dash through mountain river it's not too difficult so i'm going to start the timer once again and there we go we are off onto our third map there is also another filling station here in um, mountain river which is just down the road but as you can see in the bottom left we're doing very well for fuel we're easily going to finish this on one tank of fuel uh, we've barely well we've barely had any of it I've been driving with all-wheel drive on most of the time um, we don't have diff lock that is an upgradable option um, that I didn't actually go and get but I don't think it's going to affect the time too greatly so yeah uh, how are we doing for time what just approaching the seven minute mark on my timer it'll probably be slightly less for all of you um, but I think we're gonna have about three minutes to get across the final map which is Pedro Bay which is actually the hardest map in my opinion I said this in the last um, speed run that we did in Alaska um, in my opinion the Pedro Bay map is probably the most difficult map to um, to traverse it has rolled many of my trucks in the past I don't really like this map um, but it is part of the speed run there is one boggy section that we'll get to a little bit later but let's go ahead and start the engine once again we have this horrible like icy section just here 
this can um, affect your trucks a little bit that is one reason why I've gone for the chain tires they give you a lot more grip and as you've seen probably so far most of this route is on the road um, there are a couple of off-road sections like this frozen lake here and there is one muddy bog section a little bit later um, but the majority of this speed run is on the road and the road is covered in ice so you want as much grip on the ice as possible and chain tyres provide the most grip so that is why I have gone for those. I have also dotted a couple of these tankers around like you can see that one there to my right um, I went ahead and just did that sort of off camera um, it's basically just to provide a little aid um, this is the one boggy section right here I'm gonna stick to the right as much as possible and we're gonna stick it in low range we are allowed to use the winch if we need to um, I'm gonna just go for a quick winch that is just going to help us through uh, this section a little bit faster because we want to be trying to get through these sections as quick as possible I've had to make a little trade-off here because I know the chain tires are not the best in the mud um, That is the only one muddy section So you know the chain tires basically just have to deal with that that is just the trade-off I've had to go for You'll see me driving in automatic as much as possible. Obviously, automatic is the fastest um, driving option. But every now and then, we do have to stick it in low. Um, I have just reached the 10-minute mark on my timer. So, your timer probably won't be very far behind. So, yeah. It's unfortunate. Again, I don't think we're going to beat the 10-minute benchmark which is kind of annoying I was I was expecting the Hummer to be able to beat that to be honest um, I mean it's coped with this speed run massively well it's had no more problems than the Tuz had in the last episode um, but it just seems to be a little bit slow I do remember the Hummer being a bit faster than this might have just been my memory to be honest um, but yeah, the load start absolutely flew through this. It didn't get stuck anywhere. Um, maybe the diff lock would have helped. Um, possibly would have given us a little bit of extra speed. But honestly, even with the diff lock on, I don't think we would have been able to make up um, enough time to beat speedrun. So yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. I had high hopes for the Hummer. We're going to carry on anyway just to see what time we get so we can compare to the Tuz. Um, we're actually not that far from our destination now, so I will see you when we cross the finish line. Okay, here we are just approaching the finish line now at Wolf Grip, and there we have it across the line. I'm going to pause my timer. I've got 13 minutes on my timer so it'll probably be slightly less than that on your timer you'll have the accurate time on your screen now um, I do know that the Tuz 166 in the last episode uh, was just over 13 minutes so the Hummer is slightly faster than the 166 um, so that is at least something to be happy about um, but I don't want you to take the speed runs as sort of gospel. They're not they're not to prove how fast a vehicle is um, Most of the time you won't even be traveling on the main road anyway You'll be traveling off the beaten path exploring the map um, These speed runs is purely for your entertainment. It's quite a cool thing snow runner is not really made for speed running but it's quite a cool thing that I enjoy making videos on and hopefully all of you enjoy watching. And it's more just to compare how the vehicles drive at high speed. So um, some vehicles are a lot more stable than others, some are faster than others, some get through mud sections and some prefer the road. It's more to test things like that and not actually to see how fast the vehicle is so these times are purely for fun they're not 
uh, scientific in any way I just do these speed runs as a bit of fun and some content for the channel so um, yeah the Hummer it's a bit of a shame it didn't reach the 10 minute um, benchmark it's a shame it couldn't beat that um, hopefully we will find a vehicle that can beat that 10 minute benchmark maybe in the next episode we will take the load start out and see if we can match the time that I set uh, but that is going to do it for this video thank you all so much for watching I hope you did enjoy if you did then please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel and uh, with all that said thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video